we have seen lots of stars at night. Did you know, there is one star, that we can see during the day. That star is our sun. It is a yellow, medium-sized, dwarf star. Our sun is a big ball of hot and glowing gases. Most of gas, about 72% is hydrogen, and 27% helium. Other gases are oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, neon, magnesium, iron and sulfur. Nuclear fusion converts hydrogen into other elements, and produces energy of sun. There are many layers inside our sun. Hottest part of sun is its core or center. In the core, fusion reactions produce energy in the form of gamma rays and neutrinos. Outside the core is radioactive envelope, which is surrounded by convective envelope. Photosphere is the zone from which sunlight is emitted. A red circle around the sun can be seen sometimes. It's chromosphere. Outermost layer of sun is the corona. It is about 50 times hotter than boiling water. There are dark areas called sunspots on the outer layer. Temperature is cooler in these areas. Solar flares are sudden bursts of burning gases, often happen near sunspots. Our sun is at the center of our solar system. All eight planets orbit around sun. If an airplane could travel to sun at maximum speed, it would take 25 years to reach it. Huge size of sun gives it strong gravity. This gravity keeps the planets orbiting in their paths around sun. Earth spins on its axis as it orbits sun. It takes 24 hours to make one rotation. Part of Earth which faces Sun, has daylight. It is night in other part of Earth. We receive light and eat from Sun, that's important for life on Earth. It takes Earth one year to orbit around Sun. The part of Earth that tilts towards Sun, gets more heat and light. It is summer in this part of Earth. When top part of Earth begins to tilt away from the Sun, it is fall. In the part that tilts away from the sun, it is winter. When top part of Earth begins to tilt toward the sun, it is spring. A solar eclipse occurs when moon passes between Earth and sun. Moon blocks sunlight from reaching some parts of Earth. This causes moon to make a shadow on that part. This is how sun looks during a solar eclipse from Earth. Do you have more burning questions about science? Keep watching and click on subscribe.